What's going on, y'all? I'm going to show you how to tell if you're over compressing your vocals. Uh, so I've got a rap vocal here, which is one of the most common vocals that I see over compressed. And this video, I'm going to show you how you can tell if you're doing that. Uh, so I've got three instances of the Studio One Five compressor that we'll be going through here, uh, starting with this first one. So you see, how I've got this compressor uh, set here. I've got a three to one ratio, 10 millisecond attack, 200 millisecond release, and I've got a negative 30 dB threshold. So the first way to tell if you're doing too much compression is to really listen to the vocal and if it starts to get dull and you start to lose clarity or starts to get dark, those are signs that you're over compressing. And with this first compressor here, I'm intentionally over compressing this vocal. Uh, let's bypass it, listen to it, and then we'll bring in the compressor and listen to it. Can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm gonna touch him just like Braille. And now let's turn the compressor on and listen to it. Can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm gonna touch them just like Braille. Okay, so that was over compressed. Another sign that you can tell here, so you see the reduction, we're getting right at 12 dB of gain reduction. That's a lot of reduction for a rap vocal. So. You know, rap vocals typically aren't that dynamic. They're different from singing vocals where there's loud parts and there's soft parts. Normally with rap vocals, there may be a small part where they get loud, but for the most part, you're going to have a softer part that needs to be brought up, uh, which is done with the makeup gain. So by seeing the gain reduction here, that the max gain reduction we're getting is 12 dB gain reduction. Just think of that as you're turning the vocal down 12 dB. So... The next way that you can tell that you're over compressing, I'm gonna pull up the second compressor here. I see a lot of people setting their attack and release time as fast as it can go. So I've got that here. I've got a little bit higher threshold here at negative 24, four to one ratio this time. When you have your uh, setting your attack and release at the fastest that it can go, the compressor is going to react so fast that it can cause distortion which i'll say is another form of over compression here so let's take a listen to this example i'm going to play it with it bypassed and then play it again uh, with the compressor in can't you tell still sipping syrup moving slow like a snail if i hate a step i'm gonna touch them just like braille and now with the compressor can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm gonna touch them just like Braille. So again, we're getting almost 12 dB gain reduction here. And you hear that distortion, that's because the compressor is just working too fast. It's compressing and letting go too fast. So you wanna avoid setting your attack and release at its fastest times. Another tip or uh, for you know to make sure that you're not over compressing your vocal is having the release too long. So if I set this release longer now, we'll set it to a second. Notice how the release holds so long that his phrases are still being compressed before he starts another phrase. That's another thing that will over compress the vocal. Let's listen to that example. Can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm gonna touch him just like Braille. And you can hear there how the, the vocal is, it feels pushed back, it's lower in volume. And that's just because we're over compressing it. So, this last compressor here is one that I have set up. I don't want to say correctly, but it's set up how I would set this to compress this vocal. Got about a 10 millisecond attack time, 120 millisecond release, negative 24 threshold, three to one on the ratio. 
So we'll look at, well, I'll play this once again, bypass, and then bring this compressor in. And you should feel the vocal move forward a little bit. It's going to keep the clarity there as well, and it's not going to get dark. Uh, so let's play this one. Good, can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm going to touch them just like Braille. Good, can't you and with the compressor in. Good, can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'ma touch them just like Braille. So now let's look at, so you remember I said that keeping the release too long is gonna cause over compression. So just a quick tip with setting the release so it won't cause over compression is when you have rap vocals, once that phrase ends, you want that gain reduction to go back to zero before the next phrase starts. Uh, for this vocal, it should be between 120, 160 milliseconds. So we'll bump this up to 160. You know, okay, 175 is fine. And we're going to keep an eye on the gain reduction. And you want to, when he's finished with the phrase, it should go back up to zero before it comes back down again, starting the next phrase. Well, let's take a listen. Good, can't you tell? Still sipping syrup, moving slow like a snail. If I hate a step, I'm gonna touch them just like Braille. So you can see there, it is going back to zero before the next phrase starts. So there's some tips on things that you can watch for to make sure that you're not over compressing your vocals. And I think a compression like this, so. And you see here, I'm getting negative seven. I'm getting seven dB gain reduction here, which is almost half of what we were getting before. So again, you don't want to have your threshold down too low because the lower you bring your threshold, the more compression you're going to have. So think of compression before you even start to pull down that threshold. Think of it this way. If you hear a part that's low, you're going to want to turn that up with the makeup gain. If there's a part that's loud, you say, hey, how much do I want to turn this down? Do I want to turn this down 3 dB? Do I want to turn it down 6 dB, 9 dB? And then aim for that when you're doing your compression and pulling down the threshold. I have some courses on Udemy on compression if you want to see me explain or learn more about compression from me. And I'll have links to those courses in the description of this video and one of which is a free course. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts, and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.